Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. This is just a short video to let you know that there is a new update available for Breath of the Wild, update titled 1.3.1 or V112. Ok, so let's get into it. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can update to 1.3.1 using the particular method that I use. Ok, the first thing you want to do is come to this link here and download Maple Seed version 1.1.0.53. This is the version that I prefer to use. I do not need to download it as I have already got it right here. Once you launch Maple Seed, you want to come over to your settings tab if you have not used Maple Seed before. And in this directory here, you want to put the game directory where you save all your extracted copies of your games. And in this directory here, you want to put the actual directory of your latest CMU version. If you do not know how to do this, you simply come to your CMU version, CMU 1.9.0 in my case, copy the address like you saw me do just there, and paste it in right here. Ok, let's go back to the dashboard and start the actual download. You want to click on your Breath of the Wild, and up in this box here enter 112 for version 112, and click plus update. You will see on screen that we are downloading title version 112. This process can take quite a while so please be patient. Ok, now that that is finished downloading, we are also going to add the latest DLC if you have not done so already. This DLC gives you the Trials of the Sword DLC and I would highly recommend downloading it. Come up to this box, enter V48 and click plus DLC. You can also see it downloading here. This process will once again take quite a large amount of time so please be patient. Now that the DLC has been fully downloaded, all we need to do is load into our game to make sure that it has correctly been added. And perfect! As you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the game is now updated to version 1.3.1 and DLC version 2.0. Now that we have these added, let's talk about what this new patch actually brings to the game. Ok, these patch notes for the Wii U version are quite small so let's just blast quickly through them. They have fixed the issue in pack 1 the Master Trials in which defeating certain enemies for Kilton was not counted towards completion when playing in Master Mode. And Nintendo have also given us this gem of a patch note, various fixes to improve gameplay. Now while this final patch note is quite vague, I can confirm through gameplay that the bug involving a world reset when you left the Master Trials for an uncompleted Divine Beast and then exited that Divine Beast has been fixed. It must also be noted that the addition of this update breaks parity between the Switch and Wii U versions of the game. Switch users now have the option to obtain in-game items by launching The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Tips from the Wild news channel within the Switch apps itself. These items however are no great loss as they are only at the minute meat, apples, fruits, nuts and other such items. Cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope it was helpful for you. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.